Hello, welcome once again to our channel Bioholic with your Friday educator Olivia. So this is the fourth class of the photosynthesis and today I will discuss about the photosystems or the photopigment systems. Okay, this portion is very much important before learning the full process of photosynthesis starting from the light reaction. So watch this video attentively and if you feel any problem to understand any part of this video then you can write that in the comment section or you can also mail directly to us so not wasting more time let's start today's class when plants are exposed to sunlight the light energy from the sun reaches the plant as photons okay and the photons of appropriate wavelengths is absorbed by the specific pigment protein complexes that is added on the thylakoid membranes of the leaves and when this happens the energy of the photon is transferred to the pigment molecule okay so now let's jump into the photosystem directly so what is photosystem? The photosystem is the protein pigment complex that I mentioned in my previous slide which is present in the thylakoid membrane and it is very essential for the photosynthetic process and photosystems are mainly of two types the photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 and these photosystem 1 and 2 are named in the sequence of their discovery. Photosystem 1 is discovered earlier that's why it is named as photosystem 1 and later photosystem 2 is discovered. The main functions of photosystem is to absorb the light and the transfer of energy and electrons. Now the components of photosystem. Photosystem has mainly three parts. First one is the reaction center. Second one is the electron acceptor and third one is the light harvesting complex. Though many times the electron acceptor is considered as a part of the reaction center. Now let's learn elaborately about these parts of the photosystem. So this is the structure of the photosystem. Here you can see that the reaction center is at the central position and the chlorophyll A is the part of the reaction center and the other pigment molecules that is also called as a light harvesting complex are surrounding that reaction center and during exposure to sunlight the light is absorbed by those accessory pigments which then transfers the light energy to the chlorophyll A molecules present in the reaction center. By this picture you will understand better here you can see that the chlorophyll A reaction center is surrounded by the light harvesting complexes that is also called as the antenna pigments or accessory pigments and there is electron acceptor beside the reaction center. When light energy or photon reaches the accessory pigments then the pigments transfer that energy and deliver that to the central reaction center. Then from the reaction center, the electron is transferred to the electron acceptor. So what is the reaction center? As you have seen that the reaction center lies at the heart of the photosystem and this reaction center is surrounded by light harvesting complexes that enhance the absorption of light. And the reaction center contains the chlorophyll A and all other pigments pass the light energy through the resonance until it reaches the reaction center. Clear? Now the electron acceptor which is also considered as a part of the reaction center. When a chlorophyll A molecule within the reaction center absorbs a photon, an electron in this molecule attains an excited energy level. And because this state of an electron is very unstable, 
Therefore, the electron is then transferred to the electron acceptor. And the primary electron acceptor in photosynthesis is the pheophytin. And the third part is the light harvesting complexes. The light harvesting system or LHC are protein pigment complexes that receive radiant energy directly from the sun and transfer it to the reaction centers. An array of LHCs is often referred to as an antenna or antenna complex. And the light harvesting complex typically include one or more associated pigments like phycobilins, chlorophyll B, carotenoids, etc. Now the two types of photosystem that is photosystem 1 versus photosystem 2. The two main multi subunit membrane protein complexes photosystem 1 and 2 differ in their absorbing wavelengths. Where the photosystem 1 or PS1 absorbs a longer wavelength of light which is about 700 nanometer while the photosystem 2 or PS2 absorbs a shorter wavelength of light that is of about 680 nanometer. Here you can see the P680 and P700 in the central position. That's why PS1 is also called as P700 and PS2 is also called as P680. Now the differences between photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. For the exam point of view, the difference between the photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 is very much important. So take a screenshot or make a chart and write this in your copy. Okay? The first differentiable topic is light absorption. Photosystem 1 absorbs light energy of 700 nanometer, while photosystem 2 absorbs light energy of 680 nanometer. And the location? Photosystem 1 is located on the outer surface of thylakoid membrane but the photosystem 2 is located on the inner surface of the thylakoid membrane. And next the photocenter or reaction center. In case of photosystem 1 P700 is the photocenter and in case of photosystem 2 P680 is the photocenter. Now the participation of photosystems in phosphorylation. Photosystem 1 participates in both cyclic and non-cyclic phosphorylation but photosystem 2 participates only in non-cyclic phosphorylation. Next point is the electron gain. Photosystem 1 picks up electron that is released by photosystem 2 and photosystem 2 picks up electrons that is obtained from photolysis of water. Next point is the chlorophyll carotenoid ratio. In photosystem 1, the value of chlorophyll is to carotenoid is about 20 is to 1 to 30 is to 1 while in case of photosystem 2, the ratio is about 3 is to 1 to 7 is to 1. That means in photosystem 1, in respect to 20 to 30 chlorophyll molecule, there is only one carotenoid molecule and in case of photosystem 2, there is about only 3 to 7 chlorophyll molecules in respect to one carotenoid molecule okay and the functions of photosystem 1 is to synthesis NADPH and the functions of photosystem 2 is the hydrolysis of water and ATP synthesis you will understand better about the roles of photosystem while lining the photosynthetic process starting from the light reaction so on the next Friday I will describe the light reaction so today's class was about the introduction of the photosystems if you have any queries, don't hesitate to ask me and the self-assessment test is provided in the link. Just check the description box. And if you are new here, I hope you have liked this video. To attend all our free classes regularly and to appear in the mock tests, self-assessment tests for free, just you have to do a simple thing that is to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. Thus, you will get all the notifications of our each and every classes. So now I am signing off. Thanks for watching. See you in the next Friday.